The reason why, why we're here at Griffiths, yeah, this is one of the largest national U.S. test sites. Right? This wonderful airport lets us fly all of these vehicles in all configurations. We can fly manned, we can fly unmanned, we can do cooperative missions as you're going to see today. That's a very unique ability that only exists you know, in few parts in the country. And when you talk East Coast, you know, th this is really one of the primary locations on the East Coast where you want to be doing this kind of work. What we had, we had four unmanned aerial yeah. systems that were flying. First one is a quadcopter called the Indigo. The Indigo, the plan is for that to go out, identify hot spots, translate that off to the unmanned KMAX. KMAX is a 6,000 pound helicopter that's often piloted. That helicopter then will go off and do a fire suppression mission, dropping water down a fire line, and then we'll go off and do a holding point. We have a small unmanned fixed wing called a Desert Hawk. The Desert Hawk will go off. It will identify and locate a lost camper in this scenario. The camper will be geolocated. Those coordinates will be relayed through the KMAX out to our unmanned Sarah aircraft, which is an S-76. The S-76 then will take off autonomously, fly out, identify that person, find a safe landing site all by itself, land, pick up that person, and then fly back. And then at the end of our mission, we'll have our unmanned Sarah aircraft uh, controlled by some volunteers in the audience. Tell your friends at school tomorrow that I've flown a helicopter.